Hello everybody and welcome back, it's T Junkie and this is part 7 I believe of the tutorial series. In this tutorial what we're going to do is everything we've done in the main menu script by changing the field view and the game volume that's going to apply so when we load up level 1 all the changes are going to take effect. Right, let's load up level 1. And you see in level 1 I've added a cube. It's not very far away, it's about there. And this is just basically to test out the field of view. So the further away it gets, you know the field of view is working when you save it. Now what I want to do is go into game menu, well the menu script, sorry. And to begin with, I'm just going to start one, I'm just going to say player prefs. Player prefs dot delete all. This is just going to delete everything as soon as I launch the game. So if I go back to main menu. There you go, it's all my details are deleted, see. Now we unplay that and then we just comment this line out for now. Right now to get all this to work, what we are gonna have to do is if you go back to Unity and in the scripts file create another C sharp script and we're just gonna call this uh or the Geovid Video script. Audio video script. I load that up. And I'm just going to align all this. We don't need the update function, so we can just delete that out. Now, with that in there, we're going to need to do a few little things in Unity. So, if I go to my desktop, actually, before I do that, what I want to do is create another folder. I'll call it Sounds. If you have any sounds, it could be music, it doesn't really matter at this moment in time, uh, as long as you have a sound of some sort. Me, I created a nature sound. And you just click it off your desktop, drag it over the Unity, and just drag it onto your sounds folder. And then pour it. And there you go, got my nature sound in there. Uh, with this recording software, you can't, with me recording and doing my microphone, you can't hear the speakers at the same time. But if you did follow the, along the whole steps, you'll be able to hear the differences yourself. Um, so one of the main changes you want to do right now is if you click main camera, we add in a component. And yeah, all you have to do is just type AU and you'll see audio sort, listener, audio rewrite, verb. At the moment we just want audio source. With that done, just click and drag your nature sound on top of your audio clip. And that's that, that's that done. Don't need to play around with that one anymore. Now if you were to click play, actually let's go from a speaker so you will be able to hear that. If we go to options, and then lower my game volume, it goes away. And I increase the game volume. So it just shows that our audio script actually works. But what we're going to do now is we want to create a little one here, so we're just going to do a public camera just like we've done before, and then you call it what you want game camera is what I'm going to call mine. And in the start, we want to check to see if the player has a save data for the field of view and also the or game volume. So, to do that, we're just doing two if statements. So, to start, we're just going to if. Uh, player prefs dot has key and we called ours game volume didn't we so game volume and then we're just going to say audio listener dot volume is equal to player prefs dot get float because we saved it as a float and we're just going to say game volume. We just have to use the key. We don't actually need the previous what we had in the original script. We just need this. Now with this one done, we're just going to add the field of view now. It's the same principle. So if player prefs dot has key, we're going to call it. It was called game fov. And I'm going to say. Uh, 
game camera dot field of view is equal to player press dot get float and game FOV again. Now that's completely done. Now with that all done, we go back into our Unity. And then we all we need to do is we need to load up level one. Just make sure you save your main menu script. Or your main menu scene, sorry. And click main camera. And I'm just gonna drag the audio script onto main camera. And the same as we did before, when with main camera selected in the hierarchy view, click and drag it onto the game camera in our audio video script. That's what's attached. But we also need to add another component and another audio source. And in this audio source, we're just going to put our nature sound back in there again. That way, this will play straight away when the scene loads. Now, with that done, click main menu again, but make sure you save your script, your scene. And then if we click play, I'm going to go my options, graphic options, fantastic. My field of view, I'm going to do it, for now I'm just going to leave it like this. Uh, apply, just leave it standard. Audio, we're going to do audio max. So it's really loud. I click back, and now we're going to click a new character because I do need mine. And then go mail, and I'm going to create character. Now we're going to load game, load character. As you can hear, look, as you can see, the field of view doesn't change. The box is still there in the middle of the screen. And my sound is really loud. Now if I come off that, and I'll launch my menu, menu screen script again. My menu scene, sorry. And click graphics options. Field of view is going to be really high. Click apply. Audio options, I'm going to turn it off. Click apply. I'm going to click load game, load my character in. As you can see the box is now really far and there's no audio going on at all. So that's our audio and video now carrying over onto our next scene that we load. And because it's all controlled by a script, we just literally have to add that to the main camera every time. Um, but there was something in the main menu script that I didn't like. If I click options, graphics options, put my field of view back down to normal. As you can see, you've got options up here. You've got the game of view and game quality. Up here, that's why I left the gap here in the first place, I'm going to have this subtitle. I'm going to have another one here saying audio settings and then video settings at the top when we click on them. Just to round it off and finish it all off. And then we'll get focusing on a hood, which we're going to do... Um, in-game menu and everything for it. So if we find our different sections, like this is options menu, this is audio options display right here. Now we just copy the sub menu title from the options menu and then we just paste it in here. We want to make sure, yeah just paste at the top and call it audio settings or audio options, it's up to you. I've got options to keep in Actually, I just call it audio. Um, and now what I want to do is want to have screen dot width divided by two plus ten. And the screen height, we don't need to do the screen height. We literally just need it uh, ten from the top. Should be fine looking like that. And if we copy this, the one we've just done, and then we put it in the graphics options one and just call it video and if we click play and click options and all the options you see it up here saying audio and it goes to this video we could do it a bit lower than that actually so I'll do it 30 from the top and I'll do it an extra 10 so it'd be 20 just so it's indented a bit Yeah, audio, video, see? And that's looking quite nice actually now. I'm going to do a tutorial on use, using our custom GUI skin as well. 
to change the buttons, the font. So the buttons look different using three images that we have that will create or something. And I'll show you how to do it and also show you how to do it correctly so that when it scales, it still looks nice. Because uh, a lot, if you use a GUI skin when you put it in and it scales, it looks just horrible. So I'm gonna set you how to, I'm gonna teach you how to do it so the so it actually looks great when you rescale it to any size, depending on what your image actually consists of. And I go into more in depth into the into that other, other tutorial about how to polish off the GUI. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I'm a T Junkie, and I shall see you in the next part. Goodbye.